Hello everybody, welcome to Network Marketing Pro. My name is Eric Worre and today, I've got a little bit of a rant for you and a little bit of a challenge for you. Too many people inside of network marketing are stuck in average. And average doesn't get anyone where they want to go in life. Did you know that the average person who signs up for an online college course has a 98% dropout rate? 98% of people who sign up for an online course drop out. They sign up, they're all excited, and they don't finish. As soon as it gets hard, they're out. The average real estate agent doesn't sell a single home each year. The average anything, the average small business owner is out of business in five years. So what we're trying to do inside of network marketing is live an above average life, right? Well, you cannot live an above average life with a less than average or average effort. It takes work, it takes effort, it takes interaction, it takes talking to people, it takes sharing your opportunity more than you're doing it. I travel all over the world, and here's what I know. Of the people who sit in my audiences, the average person in that room does approximately one presentation with a prospect per month. One per month. And those are the people who come to my events. Imagine the people who don't come to my events. What do you think their numbers are? One presentation a month. Now, are you going to build a future with that? Are you going to build financial freedom with that? See, here's the great thing about network marketing. We lower the price of entry. We give you all kinds of support. And there's no quotas, there's no pressure, but in exchange for all of those benefits, you have to drive your own efforts, you have to make the activity turn into results. You have to make up in effort and sweat equity what you might have not had to invest in starting a business. The average business in the United States, small business, the average small business owner invests approximately $65,000 to start a business. What is the cost inside of network marketing? Far less than that. Now, you can have a much bigger business than somebody who invests $65,000 or even more into a traditional business. But the trade-off is you have to go to work. You have to do it when no one's looking. You have to do it when nobody's supervising you. You have to do it when nobody's expecting anything of you. That's the trade-off. So back to our numbers, inside of network marketing, inside of the audiences that I talk to, and you be honest with yourself, how many face-to-face, -face, whether it's on Skype or in person, presentations have you done with a prospect in the last 30 days? How many? Now, is that in alignment with your goals? Is that in alignment with what you feel you deserve in your network marketing future? Is that in alignment with financial freedom? And if the answer is no, then we have to determine uh, action plan in order to be able to change that. So that leads to the challenge. Here's this, the whole purpose of today's show is to challenge you and every single person in your organization to do something above average. Now you might not have the vision or um, the self-discipline to do something above average for a long period of time. So I'm just going to give you a short term above average challenge. Are you ready? Here's the challenge. I want you to commit to doing at least 30 presentations with a prospect in the next 30 days. From whatever day you watched this video, 30 days from the end of your watching of this video, I want you to make a commitment that you're gonna do at least 30 presentations. They, they could be Skype presentations face-to-face. -face. They could be sit down one-on-one, two-on-one presentations. They could be a webinar presentation. They could be a small group or in-home meeting presentation. They could be at a hotel room presentation, be at a conference presentation, whatever it is, you decide. But you do at least 30 with at least 30 of your prospects. Now, that's step number one, that you'll make that commitment. Step number two 
is see how many people in your organization you can challenge this 30 day, 30 presentation challenge. You can challenge to do the same thing. Imagine if you have 100 people in your group do the same thing. And instead of those 100 people doing 100 presentations, all of a sudden those 100 people have done 3,000 presentations, plus the 30 that you've done, okay? 3,000 presentations. What's gonna happen inside of your organization when 3,000 presentations happen inside of your group? Now, if you don't have 100 people, let's say you've got three people on your team, get together with you and those three people. Total of four of you, you're each gonna do 30 presentations in the next 30 days, and you're not gonna look right, you're not gonna look left, you're gonna look straight ahead, you're not gonna allow distractions get in the way, you're gonna find a way. 30 in 30, okay? Now you and three other people in your team, four of you in total do that, that's 120 presentations between you and those other three people. Now typically in network marketing, between one and two people out of 10 will decide to join. Let's call it two people out of 10. You do 120 presentations, how many is that? That's 24 new people on average joining your organization. Now your three turns into 27 plus you. Now we've got something. Now we got some momentum. Now we got some excitement. So if you've got 10 people on your team that you can convince to do the 30 and 30, if you've got, if it's just you, just you by yourself right now, you don't have anybody in your team. Nobody's willing to go to work. All you got is customers, whatever. You decide you're gonna do 30 and 30. And when you do 30 and 30, you're gonna get a result. And then you, you take that result and you're gonna challenge them to do the same thing and move that forward and move that forward and move that forward. Now forget about the future for a moment. Focus on the next 30 days. Can I challenge you to be above average? Can I challenge you to be extraordinary? Can I challenge you to be uncommon? Can I challenge you to be special? Can I challenge you to be a self-determined driver? Can I challenge you to do something you said you were gonna do, even if three days from now you don't feel like it anymore? Here's what I would like you to do. Below this video, I'd like you to say I'm in, if you're in for that challenge. I accept the challenge. As of this day, I will do at least 30 presentations in the next 30 days. And then come back and give us your results. Let us know how you did. But I'd like you to publicly do it. I'd like you to tell your whole world that you're gonna do it. Leaders inside of network marketing, leaders in life, entrepreneurs, here's, what they, here's their formula of success. One, they say yes. Two, they tell the world. And three, they figure it out. Don't worry how you're gonna do those presentations. You'll figure that out over the next 30 days. Just decide that you're gonna do it. Say yes. You deserve it. Stop being average. Walk away from normal and decide to be extraordinary because you deserve it. For those of you that are ready to accept this challenge, 30 days from today, your life is going to be completely different. Your fears are going to be squashed. Your opportunities are going to be opened up. And your future is never going to look brighter. So thank you for accepting the challenge, those of you who will. And if you're not willing to accept the challenge, I want you to think in your minds why you're not willing to accept it. It's not that big a deal. It's not that huge of a challenge. Talk to one person a day, on average, over the course of the next 30 days. That's not that extraordinary, dramatic, unbelievable. It'll put you above average in network marketing. But if you're not willing to do that, I want you to examine what you're willing to do. Because behind that answer is the key to breaking free in your future. So accept the challenge, comment below, and ladies and gentlemen, my wish for all of you, is that you decide to become a network marketing professional, that you decide to go pro, you decide to be uncommon, you decide to be above average, because it is a stone cold fact that we do have a better way. Now let's go tell the world. Everybody have an amazing day, have an amazing 30 days, accepting the 30 and 30 challenge, and I'll see you next time. Take care, bye-bye.